Yo, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of the Stoke City Career Mode. And things are going pretty well in my eyes as we beat Manchester City with a great result. We got a draw against Celtic in the Europa League, but we do have a couple of games in there that are going to be a little bit easier, obviously, against Shamrock Rovers as well in there. So we should win them ones, but we're going to put ourselves to the test again against Chelsea. We're starting this season in a real struggle, currently sitting 15th in the league. Also, I'm just going to show you my scouting as well, guys, so you understand what's going on. I have got my scouts out looking for centre-backs uh, for your team quality. I might put on for world-class as well. And also, we've got where it's what, zero to one remaining year left on first-time players and 13 quality and world-class players here with one Gear left on the contract. Hopefully, if you guys in the comments can let me know if that is the best setup to find players running out of contracts for the best availability, let me know if that is the right thing. I hope it is as well. So, we're in with six months, we can sign some of these players for free and take us into next year. But that's what we are currently looking for on the instructions for our players. But we have to go into our game against Chelsea and try and get a win here. Got a few players are a little bit tired, so we are going to make some management here as Barrow is going to come on for Rafinha for us. And I think that could potentially do it. Do we give? We're going to give Wagner Man a run out for Maitland now because of that pace and the, the the energy there. And that's what we're going to use. Try and get a win. Can take it on the right wing yet again, which is a very, very strange one. It always baffles me. Fatty in the team as well is going to be interesting. Pulisic, very good dribbles of the ball. Going to be a pain in the backside for us. But see if we can hold them out with this great tactic we've got. As I said before, we're going to try and use this tactic to the full ability that we can get it, holding plays into the team and then getting players moving forward and then passing the ball around and just stuff like that. Try and get some good football flowing from them and see what we can do with it. Also, I am thinking about upping the slide as well or downing them, whichever one is makes it a little bit harder for us. But we'll see when we get there with that as... Chelsea look to push forward now, pushing through Pulisic on the ball. Good back heel, plays it to Ben Chilwell, dives straight past our lunging in player, and it's a great save from oh, Livakovic, but the ball still pulls out. It's still in the box as Kai Havertz takes a shot. It's a good block in there again, and now we break with Briatan Diaz, a heavy touch, unfortunately, gets easily intercepted as Pulisic's on the ball. He's going to play it into the box, and then it's going to be an easy one for the goalkeeper, and we're just going to take a breather and calm it down like we normally do. As Chamberlain moves forward with this ball, he's got acres of space, sees Bellotti with a great run. He is still onside. Bellotti making a fantastic run, strikes the ball, and he hits the bar again. Are you kidding me? We have rattled the woodwork so many times in this season already. It's quite crazy just how many times we should be a goal up or extra goals even there. But Chelsea do look to break down as a great ball as Fatty strikes it and Livakovic with an unbelievable save. Parrying it out to his right. Good work from him. Going to be a corner taken shortly from Chelsea. It's High Havertz and Pulisic working together. Great ball. Ball powered straight through to Barrow and that's a disgusting challenge. Yet again, Pulisic gaining a yellow card. Fully deserved. We know these things happen a lot in the game. So we just got to try and knock it out as St. Yago with a very, very strange pass then. Just allowing Chelsea to come through with the ball. We should have been in acres of space and just moving the ball and keeping it well. But it's going to be Pulisic down the left-hand side. Plays it back to Chilwell. Back to Pulisic. Good ball movement from Chelsea as they push into the box. It's going to be a, a chipped in. And there is the goal. Kai Havertz getting assisted by Pulisic. It's a bad one for us. We kind of tried to judge the ball and it was the wrong decision and a great goal and Kai Havertz apparently is a break dancer if you didn't know so 1-0 down and Chelsea Luke to attack well there's a fantastic tackle in there for us as we break through we can get a goal back here hopefully it's Ben Briatang uses his pace got to push forward St. Maximin is through there he's going to get the header across can't win the header gets up it's a great win though it's going to be Barry who's going to strike it it's a good block from Chelsea a big big attack for us there just Easily mopped up for him. As Chelsea now look to a break forward, passing the ball around, keeping it well, just maintaining that possession there. As Kai Havertz plays the ball back to Marino. Good ball movement outside. Pulisic being a bit of a danger for us. As a ball comes through, that's a great ball. And what a finish from Kai Havertz. He is just too clinical in my eyes. And Chelsea have just opened this game up completely as Kai goes back to his breakdancing career with a great finish as well. And what a ball into the centre as well that was. I don't think that was Ansu Fati. Just 
inch perfect, and Kai was never missing that one. We're going to get St. Maximin on this ball, use his speed, try and get him up the field. He needs out there, though. No one's there, as he just uses his dribbling ability to get past players. As he's going to cut back, it's going to be a shot from Oxen Chamberlain. Can't get it through. Barrow's going to strike it. He just drags it wide. It's a good chance, but he couldn't get his foot around it and just drags it wide. St. Maximin, though, a real threat on that left-hand side. Try... Not sure on that one, Mendy. Not sure. I, I'm i not sure on that. We're going to take it, though. We are definitely going to take it. I, 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 just, I just don't know. I just generally don't know. It's an open goal. We, we put it in the back of the net. We, we take that, I guess. Well, Chelsea are not taking that too well as Pulisic pushes down at this left-hand side. You know what he's like. Chilwell's there as well. Them two playing together, linking up so well as they push into the box. And there is Barrow with a fantastic tackle going out for a corner. Half-time lurking away as a short corner is going to be taken here. Pulisic on it. He's going to play it back. That is a great play from Chamberlain. And we get the goal kick as well. Brilliant play. As Blotty moves this ball forward. Ben Briatan out on the right. Cuts in. Good ball movement from him. Good feet. Needs a bit of help. Tries to play the ball through. That's Oxlund Chamberlain. Good feet from Chamberlain. But unfortunately, there was too many plays in there. And Ginter got that ball. And the referee blows for the half-time whistle. It is 2-1 to Chelsea. We can still pull this back. One goal changes the whole complex of this game. So just one more needed. And we dig in the next half to try and get it. Second half is underway. And it's going to be Chelsea. Then again, that Pulisic and Chilwell link up coming in. Very, very strong for them. But we do get the ball away. And it's going to be a break. And hopefully, we could. try Try and attack down this right-hand side purely because Chilwell is still going to be up the field as that's a dirty challenge. The referee's going to play it on, though, once again, showing the filthiness of these players. As We're going to whip this ball in. Tries to anyway, but it's a very poor one. But Yenka's there with a fantastic block. We're going to strike the ball with Oxford Chamberlain. It's a good strike, but it's a little bit too easy for Mendy there. Probably the wrong decision, but we'll take it as a good chance as we battle away. Oxford Chamberlain gets the ball away. Oh, Belotti opened his body up. Couldn't get the ball through, though. And it's a fantastic block from the Chelsea defender. Yet again, it's a big chance that was for us. And well played from Oxen Chamberlain. Putting a bit of pressure on the Chelsea players and putting a bit of frighteners on them. As Chelsea bring this ball forward, finding Kante on the right-hand side. Still weird saying that, but it's the what they play. As the ball goes back to Reese James, Adamovic gets that ball clear. There's no way that's just fall through. St. Yago's there with a good header. Clears it away. Going to get this ball rolling as St. Maximin has made the run. But Kante just muscles his way through. I want to play the through ball to him. There's five at the back as well for Chelsea. It's been really difficult to break down. And it's a fantastic play. As Kai Havertz strikes it. Goalkeeper doesn't get that second ball though. He kind of just goes straight through his body. But it's an easy one at the end to just pick that up. As Costa's going to push forward. Now we know he's got speed. And we know he can put a good threat on him here. There's good bond twos. It's going to be St. Maximum pushing forward now. Trying to get the ball through. Sees Plotty. Ball played in. And that is the wrong ball. He plays it to Barrow when I wanted it to Ben and Diaz. Good ball movement from Chelsea as they bring this ball through. Ansu Fati's there, but that is a great tackle from a holding defender of Onyenka. And good battling away still, and they get the ball. Is that Timber yet again? A fantastic defence from him. As Fati tries to play through, Pulisic brings the ball through. Good ball in. But Oh, St. Iago is becoming a bit of a problem for us with the passing ability that he's got. For some reason, he took a long step away there. Anzu Fati, how? <laughs> how has he just won that header against our defender? But we do get it cleared. It's going to be St. Maximin. And how fast, how fast is Kante? And what a tackle that is. Just lunging back in and getting away with it as a bad pass leads to Ben Briatan pushing the ball forward. Tries to get through, but there is too many plays in the centre of the field here. You've got the five centre or well, the five at the back from Chelsea, and then you've got the midfielders as well. There's just way too many players just crowding the room as Kai Havertz flicks the ball through. As Fatty's going to bring it out. St. Yago tackling really well, but his distribution is the poor bit. It's going to be a corner. We've got 10 minutes left. We're going to make a change, and it's going to be Bellotti is going to be coming off. We're going to bring Draxler on, but St. Maximin is going to go up top for him. Chamberlain is a little bit tired, so I know this is not ideal, but I'm going to bring on Yates in the centre there. Just gives us another kind of defensive player, but also a player that can pass the ball around. St. Maximin pushes forward now, finds a great ball to Ben Brierton Diaz. Anyone in the box? There's no one in there. Tried to dance past, but Ben Chilwell with an unbelievable tackle there and just stops anything from happening and just allows Chelsea to break through as the speed of what, Pulis, it's ref. ref. Ref, that should be a red card. What are you doing? Anyway, we have to carry on with what we've got because this ref is not on our side. 
The ball gets played through. St. Maximin just trying to dart past a few players, find some gaps. As he plays the ball through to Brian Yates. Finds a good ball over as well to Draxler. Good passing movement. Finds a ball through. Barrows there. Finds St. Maximin. Uses his speed but can't get past the defender. We still have another chance here as the ball gets played in. Barrow finds St. Maximin again. Going to need to work some magic here. Finds a ball through. Draxler's on the ball. Opens his body up. St. Maximin is there. Still on there. Good turn but it's an even better tackle in the centre as we try and find our ways through. And it's going to be Kante bringing it out now. Last seconds of the game as it's one minute added on. They're just going to keep ball and not let us have a chance here as Kante pushes forward. Showing why he's playing on the right wing because he's done a good job on there. Reese James back to Kai Havertz as soon as we get the ball. The referee blows the whistle. It's a 2-1 loss against Chelsea. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. Personally, I feel like we played really well. We had some chances, but we've just got to be a bit more clinical. Fair play to Chelsea and Kai Havertz getting the brace there. It's unfortunate, but it's a defeat that we don't like to see. Not the best of games, but we are going to play Bolton now in the cup. And it is a chance once again to rotate some players. We don't want to be playing the main team here as we have got games coming thick and fast. I think we play, less, uh, we play Wolves next, sorry. So we got to rest the team up, play some of our weaker players in the team. And it's going to be a big rotation here. We put a lot of players off there. Let's quick save it, see if we can get a win against them. We've still got a very strong side. 2-2, we go through on penalties. We didn't miss a penalty as well, which you'd love to see. Fantastic play from the boys. Not much happened in that game, but we take it as a... A move on in the league cup. We're going to play Wolves next, and this is going to be a tough one. Once again, a few players are a little bit tired, and Santiago is tired as well. I'm not happy about that one. It's, it's my own fault, though, for not buying a center off in, and we haven't really got anyone that I can play in there that can kind of come in and do a job. So we're going to have to just deal with the situation that we have there. Let's see if we can get a win against them. They're playing the five at the back. It's going to be a tough one in my eyes, but we do get a 1-0 win against them. St. Maximum coming in clutch in the 83rd minute. Gain is a one-goal lead, and we take that in, and it's three points in the league that we desperately need. We're going to play Shamrock Rovers now. We should win this. We're going to play our main squad as well. Let's customize that because I don't think that shirt is the correct selection for me. That is the wrong button. We're going to change the kits up and then just keep it like that. Purely because there's a bit of a kit clash in there and I like to keep things professional. So let's get into this one. Quick series. Let's see if we can get a win. If I played these, I could probably beat these a lot. So I'm not going to play it. We're just going to take the 2-0 win with Balotti and Onyank again on the score sheets. Honestly, that could have been a cricket score if we played it. As you can see, 82%, 62% possession, sorry, and then eight shots with four on target. We absolutely destroyed him, as you would expect against a team like that as well. So we skip that one through. We're going to go into the next one and we're going to play Southampton. So we're going to play Southampton. The only change I've made is Ryan Yates comes in for Onyanka. He was a little bit tired, so I thought I'll give him a rest. And we've got a good one. They're going to play 4-4-2. Lewis Potter against us is going to play. It's going to be interesting to see how he does. He went for 25 million, I think it was. So it's interesting to see how he plays against us. But this is going to be a tough one. We seem to always struggle a little bit against uh, Southampton. They're a very strong, fast side. So let's see how Lewis Potter does against us. A late kickoff at the Bet365 Arena. And we don't mind them as the floodlights are on. Trying to ease the team in. But can the teams do it on a cold Windy night on a Tuesday. I don't even know we're playing on Tuesday. But you know the drill. You know what they're saying is. So we try to break that down. It's a good block. They have Keppering goals. What? When did that happen? This this Southampton side is, is a decent side. As Lewis Potter gets his first touch. Hopefully he got a few cheers around the ground for his services at the club. And he was a brilliant one for us. As Ryan Yates brings this ball. Oxon Chamberlain, a former Southampton player himself, gets the ball to St. Maximin. Got a 1-2. He try and get the run through. He does get it through. He's a brilliant player, St. Maximin. As I see, a good ball through. Oh, he... He's not the best at crossing, is at St. Maximum. We've got to work on that. He's more of a cut in and shoot, I think, guy. He is. Kepa distributes that ball very poorly. So we could try play this ball in. St. Maximum's there with the volley. Oh. He just had to tap it. He didn't have to hit it so hard. A big, big mistake on our off. Rafinha picks that ball up in the center. That's a dirty tackle from Lewis Potter. I think there's a bit of rivalry there, but we don't mind that. Signago gets it. We played it short. Rafinha plays the ball in, tries to, but Fernandez with a very, very easy interception there. It was just played straight to his feet. As Edward picks that ball up, back to Lewis Potter. Lewis Potter's getting a lot of time on the ball, but Chamberlain with a fantastic tackle there. And the ref gives a free kick. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I'm going to say thank you. At least we're getting the free kicks now. We move this ball down. Britain Diaz tries to play ball, and that is a, a, a shocking pass, just like that one from the Southampton team. As Chamberlain 
moves the ball forward. Back to Rafinha. Good ball movement here as we move into the box. Belotti's going to strike it. And Belotti gives us a one-goal lead with an unbelievable strike to the goalkeeper's left. No goalkeeper was saving that. Fantastic play and a great deadlock unlocked. Good start to the game for us. 25 minutes in, we take the one-goal lead. And it looks like we're going to build up here as Maitland-Niles pushes. to try to find the right pass. That is... Oh, Ben Briatan tried to just drop his shoulder and give the defender the nod, but doesn't get away with it as Southampton look to push. Carrera as well. I tell you what, I've got a good side. This team is a good side from Southampton. So we're going to try and get this ball straight back off him from the throw-in. Carrera back on that ball on this right-hand side. Plays it down the wing. Good pace from him. Good burst of it agility but Costa is there to mop that up sees it out for another throw in plays it out wide can we get the ball off him Cuckoo gings it good feet from him just holding those players off as we run around try and get the ball ball through and Edwards there Livakovi what a signing this man has been for our club he is unbelievable man is an absolute machine as a short corner is taken from Southampton Carrera again with a great feat unbelievable loose Potter with a nice little cheeky Dribble there. Ball's come across on Levakovic. Only parries it out. I thought it could have done a little bit better than that and caught it, but fair play. He goes out for a corner. And ball whipped in. The ball's through. How have we missed that? Edward with a volley wide open as well. He had acres of space. He couldn't even took a touch. That's how much room he had. And we just missed the header. It's a great goal, but the defending there was shocking. As the ball, the dummy is with the, the short corner. And then the, no one's there. And no one's on the post. 1-1. One, one. Set piece has done us. Maitland Niles gets this ball on the right-hand side. Back to Ben Briatan. Going to play 10 to Ryan Yates. Look how many plays they've got back. It's crazy. we just got to try and lock this in and try and get him out. So we bring it forward. Ben Briatan opens his body up. Belotti tries to turn, but he's, he hasn't got the agility. He's not fast enough for that. But Ryan Yates with a great interception. Going to look across. Find St. Maximin making a run. Takes a touch. Strikes it. St. Maximin. What a finish. Answered straight back as well as Southampton. Had him on the attack. It's the ball low. Drills it down. Straight past the goalkeeper. He ain't saving that underneath him. Great ball as well from Belotti. You can't have that. But St. Max been using his speed to get past the defender. And a fantastic strike. Driven hard, low. And you just don't save those. Touch, bang, goal. Get in. Alton Chamberlain brings this ball out. Going to try and play it through. Great pass. Van in Rafinha. Good touch from Ben Briatan. Opening his body up. Trying to get that ball to St. Maximin again. But Vanderson with a great touch just does us as the overcommitted St. Maximin runs past him. And it's going to be a break for Southampton on the dying seconds of the first half. As Armstrong brings it forward, plays it to Carrera. A good run from Edward there. We just watched that. Cuckoo plays it down. Back to Carrera. Seconds dying away, ticking away. Into the box he goes. We can't give a foul away. And Adamovic with a great tackle. Just sees it out. And that's going to be the referee blowing for the half-time whistle. A great answer back from the goal we conceded against Southampton. And St. Maximin on form using that pace drastically. He's been a fantastic signing for us so far. Southampton pushy and Edwards there, but Adamovic gets a fantastic tackle away. We're going to just break now. As St. Maximus made a good run, but Bellotti can't get the ball through. Not enough power on it, and just gives it the centre off. And it's going to be Southampton now to push the other way from left to right. Plays the ball out. I think that's a good ball to Lewis Potter on the wing there. We're just going to jockey him. Don't let him get through, and there's an easy one as Ben Briatan picks it up. It's going to be Rafinha pushing down now. Good tackle from Edwards. Oh, tracking back the striker is plays the ball through it's a good strike from Armstrong but he's blazed over the ball and it's a bit of a snatch shot in desperate reality there Chamberlain pushes forward now we're going to play this ball down to Costa use Costa's speed this time try and get past but he overhits it and doesn't know his own speed that's a bit of a bad one from me we're going to bring Costa back because he's a little bit too far up there we want St. Maximum pushing up there the left midfielder's Costa's going to try and intercept passes here. There's a great play down from Southampton. Just a few passes. Gets Simeon into there. Costa misses the tackle. As the ball comes through, it's a great save for Livakovic. He gets back up and gets another one as well. Fantastic play from him. Keeping us in this game drastically as well. Southampton push now. Armstrong playing it to Edward. There is room on this right-hand side and left-hand side. We've got to be careful of it. And there it goes to Simeon. And it's Costa's just going to try and jockey there. Can we get ahead away? Well played from Ryan Yates. That holding midfielder coming in very very, very clutch for us. A missed play at touch from Rafinha, though. Allows Southampton to keep breaking as Fernandez pushes forward. We give him a bit of a dirty challenge there. As it was in the box, it's a strike! And our 
the threat of Armstrong gets another goal against us and I think every season we played him he scored a goal past us it's great play but that touch goal comes down from Rafinha not getting a good one it's a good turn from Edward just passes it in and it's a great finish from him 2-2 Edward pushes forward yet again looking for that lead goal as we try and push through, it's a good little challenge in there. That's going to be Maitland Niles ball all day. He has Potter in his back pocket then. And we're going to move the ball forward. Try and get something breaking as Ryan Yates plays the ball down. Finds Costa in acres of space. He's going to use his speed this time. Does it well. Plays the ball through to Belotti. Belotti's going to run. Cuts back. He's, he hasn't. He just hasn't got the agility to do what I want him to do. As Ryan Yates is there. Belotti's still on the ball. That's a good tackle away. Good foot away as well. Just stops the attack and doesn't allow us to get a goal through. Oh, Ryan Yates with a bad pass yet again. Finds Edward in the centre for Southampton. The players running through. We're going to try and chock it down. As Costa's there. Fernandez. That's a good ball. Finds Simeon. Call him have an attack and it's an easy one straight into Livakovic's hands and we're going to throw this one out because that's an acres of space for St. Maximin then as he's going to run with this ball now put a bit of threat on the defenders put a pressure on him as he dances past them brilliantly there is a good ball to Ryan Yates one more ball across going to find the ball finds St. Maximin he strikes it and he's just gone underneath it it's a massive chance gone begging I don't know why I thought that was the right decision but that's a very poor decision on my behalf the final whistle closing in on the game and it's going to be a good run Lewis Potter do not Put the nail in the coffin from Lewis Potter as the ball gets played through Edwards there, but we do clear it away luckily. St. Max was going to try and win this edit. He certainly does win it. That is a, a shock to the system. As I see a good run coming through. Can we play the ball through? Can he get it? It's not. Oh, I tried, and I just don't think that Oxen Chamberlain was fast enough. If it was anyone else, if that was St. Max, he would have been through, but it's going to be a 2 2 against Southampton. Normally, we do lose against Southampton, but that was a great, good battle between the teams. Some rotation in there as well. Not the best of results as we wanted the three points at home, but it's still a good performance. We'll take a 2 2. Right, guys, that is where we're going to leave it. As you can see, in the next episode, we're going to play Manchester United. What I want to do is try and get back to one month episodes. I'm a little bit all over the place at the minute. So, what I'll do is we'll play Manchester United next game. We'll play the UEFA Champions League. Sorry, Champions League. I wish. We'll play the Europa League game and then we'll sim Newcastle and Fulham as well. And then we go into the second month in November where we'll play probably Liverpool, potentially play Leicester, and then play. Celtic again in the cup and that's how it's going to be and then I can go back to monthly well that's a, that's a big month in December but we'll go back to monthly episodes in that so I hope you have enjoyed this episode guys if you have please leave a like hit the subscribe also keep throwing names at me as well guys for these center offs I need to know them so I can get scouted on them and once again guys you've been absolutely awesome if you want to see more content from me the Borussia Dortmund save is right above me right now the career mode where we are living life after Halland so we try and find their next early in Halland and that one it's absolutely awesome and guys thank you very much for joining me you've been absolutely awesome much love and bye bye